Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I hope that you are all doing great. I'm Nangi Rait Vafetu. Today, we're going to touch on a little bit about Vincent Mashoniza Bule, who has revealed a traumatic experience that he went through. But with that being said, don't forget to do the right thing. Click that like button, Vafetu. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell. You know what you need to do, Vafetu. It is the right thing to help me grow in this YouTube space. It really goes a long way, guys. So if you're watching this video, click that button. So guys, we're going to talk about Vincent Bule. Unfortunately, Upule this season has not featured, uh, not yet, not even shown up in the match day squad on the bench. You know, we see him training with the team, you know, uh, he even appeared in the finals, but he's not really playing yet. And we don't know the reason for that. You know, maybe he still needs to work hard in training. I really don't know. You know, the only person that can answer that question is the coach. But Upule has revealed something traumatic you know and he's very much grateful to be still alive so in the park bucks camp 2 he says that he was hijacked and kidnapped and the criminals drove around with him while he was in the boot you know he said he was very much worried about the safety of his children and his partner oh you can imagine guys so let's see i went to the petrol station to buy bread after getting bread and energy and an energy drink, I went to the car. And when I arrived at the car, I could feel there was someone behind me. You know, this is what he said. He went further to say, after opening the door, someone grabbed me and told me to come with him. And when they took me, I asked them to leave my partner and child alone. They took me and put me in their car and they drove around with me for the whole night. You know, they wanted my bank pin numbers. They left my family at the garage. And while uh, everything was happening, I was asking myself, which where was my family and what had happened to them? Initially, I was sitting uh, at the back seat, you know, but they moved me to the boot. I was in the boot for about five to six hours and they left me in the woods in Soweto about one at about 1 a.m. I don't know anyone. Uh, you know in Soweto but I had to make a plan to find my way back home the other thing that helped me uh, was that I was not too frightened I didn't think I was going to make it home if I was frightened so I had to be calm I rather you know I ran and after a while I started seeing cars and went in the direction of the cars until I found a petrol station luckily an uber driver arrived and I asked him to take me home which he did most of the time I was thinking about my madam you know and the child because I didn't know, you know, if uh, they left them at the garage or if they took them. Do you hear what uh, Mashonisa is saying? So, yo, guys, this is traumatic for anyone, you know, to go through something like that. South Africa, we know. Uh, the crime rates are too high but yeah it's very very uh traumatic imagine you go to the garage to get something and then when you come back already you know your family is in danger they're taking you away you don't know where they are yeah you know uh, disconnected so thank god thank god you know uti uh Pule is still alive and his family is very much still healthy you know and they didn't do anything to harm them so yeah unfortunately it's the world that we live in as long as we build over fate i think that's the most important thing and with that being said let's hope which pule will return to playing man for the club you know it's been yeah it's been a minute it's been a long long time and now we're in a fifa break hopefully you know uh towards the month ending obviously we're gonna play games maybe he's going to play but yeah man orlando pirates did extend the contract of vincent pule which does tell you Uguti. they still have plans to keep him beyond this season so let's hope Uguti is gonna get his chance to play one day